Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Tuesday, September 13th, 2022. No secret, people. This market today got walloped. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell just about 4%. The S&P 500 over 4%, and the NASDAQ over 5 Okay, pan sell-off. Crude oil under pressure. Gold and silver under pressure. Cryptocurrencies under pressure. 10-year yield... 3.42, okay, didn't do too much today. Sold off overnight pre-market. Dollar, whoa, what a turnaround. And we're talking about uh, an eye-popping jump here in relative strength. And as you and I have discussed, I don't know how many times here in this video blog, uh, you know, the market hates this. The market hates this. You know what I, you know what I hate? Let me tell you what I hate, okay? You turn. You were flipping through Bloomberg, Fox Business, CNBC. Pick one. All they're talking about is what the Federal Reserve is going to do moving forward to fight surging inflation. It was this report this morning that came in a lot worse than expected. Strip out energy, which has fallen substantially lately, and. Everything else is skyrocketing. Food last month up over 13%, over 13.5%. People are suffering. So, again, the talk from the mainstream, propaganda freak show ministries is what's the Fed going to do? How about what the Fed has already done? Okay, the Federal Reserve. They're responsible for what we are seeing right now. How many times over the last... X amount of years, I don't know, data dependent, data dependent. We will raise rates when appropriate. We will adjust rates when appropriate, appropriate, appropriate. Well, they got it all wrong, right? How about no? How about this is deliberate? They're driving this even higher and you know it. That's why you will not hear. What you will not hear is a retarded president who came out today saying, hey, you know, inflation is getting better. Just like we were at zero in July. Now, this report, he's actually trying to convince you that what you're seeing and what they're even telling you is not real. I'm not making this up. Earlier today, the man spoke, it spoke, saying, oh, this is a promising report. Really? Promising for who? Multi, multi-millionaires maybe, or people who got more than that? The average person is getting destroyed, crushed, eliminated, exterminated, and freaking wiped the freak out here. But seriously, I want to hear from you on this. So the big talk here is, okay, next week the Fed's going to do something big. They're going to raise rate, rate 75 basis points. This is what they've been doing for many months, okay? So look. It wasn't transitory, it wasn't temporary, it hasn't been peaking, and all the Federal Reserve, European Central Bank, and other central banks are doing is driving inflation even higher. They have, people, how many times have you heard this guy explain to you, they don't want to stop inflating. Okay, they're going to continue to inflate, and they're going to use the propaganda ministry to try to tell you Oh, they're really fighting inflation this time because they're going to do the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Every FOMC meeting, every meeting of a central bank, and it's going to finally make a difference. How about it's doing nothing? It can't do anything in this environment. Okay, look, forget about the Federal Reserve raising the overnight rate, any other central bank here. What they have done here since the last meltdown is flood the world with epic sums of of fiat currency which is now starting to move and chasing lesser amount of goods it's economics 101 even a a person with a fraction of one functioning brain cell could understand what's happening here okay uh this was inevitable it was going to happen and central banks have gone out of their way to do it colluding with their respective governments who are going to lie through their teeth for them like President Mummy Man Bidenstein t telling you that this inflation report was promising today. Really? Oh, well, didn't look so promising for the stock market. The Dow Jones Industrial Average down 1,300 points. Are you kidding me? This is the environment we are, we're living in. You cannot get the truth at all 
from a politician, from a central banker, from the propaganda ministry. They're sitting there today. I don't know about you. I'm watching the, the freak show today, all right? They don't understand it. They don't get it. They don't realize what's going on. Either that or they're just twisting your mind, okay? They're reading scripts and they're just talking to these people. It's a crime, okay? And people are suffering and they're going to get... They're going to get to suffer a lot more. Let, let me just read some of this to you. So right now we've had 27 consecutive months of increasing prices here. When do you think, and I've been asking this question again, with everything we're seeing, when is the Federal Reserve going to be held to account? When is a policymaker, a president, someone going to say, hey, the Federal Reserve is responsible for the financial system? And the economy, they're the one driving inflation here. They've been doing this for years, okay, since the last meltdown here. And they've been telling us they're data dependent. They've been telling us that they're going to do things appropriately. Meanwhile, inflation continues to miss the mark. They had a 2% target, people were at like 9%. When do you believe the Federal Reserve is going to either be eliminated, exterminated, or at least told to apologize to the American people, but they're not going to because you have to understand what's going on. This is deliberate. Coll a direct collusion between policymakers and a central bank who are determined to kill you. Kill you. I'm telling you what's going on. You don't want to believe it? Well, okay, whatever. And if you think we've seen it all, you think 27 consecutive months of increasing in inflationary is, is, is bad, you haven't seen anything yet. Grocery prices surging. I mean, you can't, you can't make this stuff up. You can't do it. It's impossible. Um, do you know what else is going on that's not being reported? Crime is on the rise everywhere. Theft, robberies, violent crime. But again, everything is fantastic. Now, Janet Yellen, the thing, former Fed chairperson, now Treasury Secretary, she's warning of something that you and I already know because we spoke about it right here. Warning of higher energy prices coming. So, it, the thing, okay, she's not even human either, is a warning of what you and I already know. These people are so far behind the curve. Either, you know, they, they know what's going on, but they just, you know, they can't tell you the truth. They can't do it, I tell you. Let me, let me explain this to you, maybe even with another twist to it, okay? You and I understand, anybody understands the situation here. That is, inflation keeps rising and they keep lying. Central banks are not going to stop inflating. It's the nature of the economic model which they've created. It must continually, relentlessly, every second of every day around the clock be added to. It must inflate in order to function. But no one is going to tell you that. No imbecile presidents, no Federal Reserve chair people, nobody is going to tell you that. So, But they want you to believe, they wanted you to believe it was temporary, it was transitory, and peaking at least three, four times. And yet again, all the data that they're letting you know about, okay, is pointing towards inflation continuing to, to rise moving forward. It's going much, much higher. You, they cannot stop what is already in motion here. And that is very simple. Again, going back to economics 101. When any central bank decides to inflate, adding you know, digits to a screen, hyperinflating debt like we have here at one particular time, and there's no way to put a finger on it, all those extra bills just do what they're supposed to do, and that is chase generally the same amount of goods, but in this environment, it's a lesser amount of goods, so it's an amplifying effect. It's an amplifying effect, and it cannot be stopped. No amount, let me, let me, let me explain this to you in case you don't know. Because I've covered this a million times, but I'm going to tell you again. The big lie that's being sold to you right now and the people of the world is by central banks raising the overnight rate here, the Federal Reserve raising the federal funds rate 75 basis points, last FOMC meeting, the one before that, the one before that, then a couple of 50s, and they're going to raise it again, obviously, next week too. It doesn't, it won't work. 
It's not even designed to work to slow inflation. But you see, they believe people are retarded. And most people are. They have no idea how the financial system works at all. So they say, oh, the Fed's raising rates, so it's going to help us all. Really, how's it working out for you so far? How about no? I dare you. Make this stuff up. Make it up. I tell you, this is, it's, it's a crime. It's a crime in progress. I'm freaking foaming at the mouth over here. And it's about to get monumentally worse because it's a destruction. It's an elimination of an entire class of people. We are moving back in time, people, to a feudal system, a two-tier society, extreme haves, extreme have-nots. Does that sound familiar to you? Well, it should, because I've been broadcasting, literally, that same message for 10 years or longer. And here it is in your freaking face. Now, with regard to the stock market here, let's talk about the stock market. Pretty big sell-off here today. Okay. Market always overreacts. I am not saying that this is the end or it's the bottom because I don't do that. But I'm telling you this, if the 10-year yield stays where it is, comes down, and the dollar weakens, well, the market's still going to go higher. If 10-year yield continues to rise, dollar continues to rise, you haven't seen anything yet with the stock market. Stock market's going much lower. It should make sense to you what you're seeing. I have covered this at length every day, twice a day for the most part, for I don't know how long. Everything you're seeing right now, it's clear. Um, you know what to look for, you know what to look at, and you can see it playing out right before your eyes, everything. So you know again what to look for. What we saw today, this, this monumentally large move higher in the relative strength of the dollar, market's hating that. 10-year yield, where it's sitting right now, 3.42. The market can tolerate that. Okay, look, I've explained a million times what's happening. It's not so much that freaking number here. What the stock market wants to see is the sell-off in the debt market slow down or stop. Okay, are central banks going to get in here and start buying more? Well, if they don't, what we witnessed today in the stock market falling, you know, 1,300 points with regard to the Dow is nothing, nothing. It's, it's just like a walk in the park. So watching the MMRI, Manorino Market Risk Indicator, link in the description of the video, you should, you should watch the MMRI every day, just once a day to keep track of it. We are in high risk here, okay? Hit an all-time high today. When I first started... When I first put the MMRI out for people to look at, it was around in the upper 70s, 80. Look at where we are today, 234, something like that. It's getting worse. Risk is rising here. Central banks, are they going to let this thing implode? Is this it? I don't know. I really don't know. But I can promise you, if, we don't, if they don't get a handle on, on bond yields rising, they don't get a handle on the dollar here strengthening like this, it's, it's, it's over. It really just is over. Anyway, look, what else can I tell you? You know this stuff better than anybody else. Um, I, I keep you all on top of this every day, twice a day. All right, look, that's it. I'm going to end this video, but I want to hear from you. What do you think about all this? I mean, seriously, when do you think, finally, the Federal Reserve is going to be held to account for what they're doing? Not for what they've even already done, okay? Uh, data dependent, oh, it's appropriate for do this. They, you know, they, did they just, by accident, miss their inflation target just like every single other central bank? Really? You think that's just a coincidence? The mainstream media does. Our politicians obviously do. Oh, it's not the central banks who run the financial system. They run the economy. And let me give you an, another piece of information. They are the government of the world. Once you realize that, everything else will make sense to you. This is why they will never be held to account. Never. And all they're going to do is inflate as they wipe out an entire class of people on a worldwide scale. As they drive the global economy into the ground so they can become the lenders and buyers of last resort, which is their goal. And they're going to continue to inflate. Welcome to the Freak Show if this, you're new here. All right, look, I'm out of here before I blow a gasket. I will see all of you in the morning. Please comment. Please share the video. Get it out there. See you in the morning.